YTBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison, and you're live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison TV show, live. And I just got through watching, okay, Kovalev versus Pascal 2. Freddie Roach has stopped the fight. Freddie Roach has stopped this fight. I mean, really, man, I'm just going to tell y'all straight up, man. John Pascal fought a stupid-ass fight. And I'm just sorry, man. Kovalev punished this dude. He punished him, man, for seven rounds straight. He was punished. Now, he didn't knock out, you know, um, John Pascal was on his way out. He was going to sleep, okay? And it's like he actually, early on, Pascal, I thought, was doing pretty well. He was catching Kovalev with some good shots, but he fought very stupid, man. Like, he did dumb stuff like go to the ropes, man. And you should have learned from your first fight, you don't go to the ropes against Kovalev because you're giving that dude an opportunity to just pound your flesh, man. And that's what happened. That's exactly what happened, man. John Pascal fought a dumb fight. Okay, Kovalev went in there and did his thing. He did, I mean, the skill level differential, you can see the skill level differential. Kovalev was hurting John Pascal with the jab. And I said, look, man, it's over. If, you know, John Pascal can hurt this dude with a jab, I'm sorry, if Kovalev can hurt this dude with a jab, I said, it's over. And then I actually thought Kovalev did get a knockdown, but they called it a slip in the first round. And you can see on the replay, man, he clearly hit Pascal with a jab and knocked him down. I said, oh, I said, Kovalev finna knock this dude out. It, it's over. I mean, it was, you, I mean, you can see the technical, I mean, you can see like the skill level, man. You can see the skill level differential, okay? Um, I, I wasn't upset with the stoppage. I, I think John Pascal, though, got a heart of a warrior. And with guys like John Pascal, man, in this case, I probably would have let him continue because that's, that's his MO, man. And he wasn't afraid, man. He wasn't, he, he wasn't afraid of Kovalev, okay? He wasn't afraid of him. Wasn't afraid of him at all. He was going in. I mean, John Pascal tried, man. He did as much as he could. It's just Pascal don't have the skill set, man, to beat Kovalev. He just don't have it, man. And that's just the way that is, okay? That's just the way that is. And, you know, and I feel like the, I feel like the stoppage was good by Freddie Roach. I probably still, man, I, I don't know, man. John Pascal, he's one of those guys. He's still a live dog, man. So I probably would have gave him at least to the eighth round. But, you know, I'm still not upset, man, with Freddie Roach stopping the fight, man. I mean, John Pascal got his ass whooped. He got his ass whooped. And I'm thinking all this this, this talking he was doing, man, I figured this guy was going to come out, man. It's like he just stood there and just let Kovalev beat the hell out of him. That's what it was, man. I mean, Pascal was just throwing all these off-balance punches, man. I mean, he was throwing these looping punches, wide punches. I mean, man, what the hell, man? You know, he didn't even try to establish a jab. It was well, I guess because because he's short, man. But he wasn't trying to do anything to keep Kovalev honest, man. All he did was back up. I mean, it's like there's no kind of technical expertise to John Pascal's style. Is he wild, man? He wild. And Freddie Roach really couldn't do nothing to help him. Shit, Freddie Roach was wanting to stop the fight after the fourth round. I'm just being honest, man. Freddie Roach, you know, it pissed me off, man. And I'm gonna tell you why Freddie pissed me off. Not because he stopped the fight. But going into the fight, you can tell with the interviews with Freddie Roach, Freddie Roach never thought that Pascal could win this fight in the first place. And I'm sorry, if you have a trainer, if you have a trainer, and you got y'all got to learn how to pick up on this. I'm a coach, man. I know these things. If you're a trainer, man, and if your trainer don't really think that you can win the fight, hell, you ain't going to win the fight. And that's the person that's supposed to believe in you the most, the damn trainer, man. And, and that's just how it is, man. I mean, damn, Freddie. I mean, come on, man. You're supposed to believe that this dude can win the fight. You're supposed to. And, you know, I, I'm just saying, man. Freddie Roach did not think he can win. You can tell, man. Kovalev pretty much was playing with John. I mean, he was playing. He was playing with John Pascal. He really he was playing with him, man. Kovalev really ain't taking no damage in this fight, man. I'm looking at his face now. Max Kellerman talking to him. Kovalev ain't taking no damage, man. This dude, Kovalev, could probably go another 12 rounds with somebody else right now. And that's just the way that is. I mean, Pascal just fought a dumb game plan. I mean, you fought a stupid ass game plan. What, dude? What? What the? He kept his hands down, tried to put it up. Then, uh, man, uh, dude, I'm frustrated. Like, if I'm in the corner with him, I would have been saying, John, John, what the hell are you doing? Look, man, you get out there, man, and you show Kovalev what you made out of. Freddie Roach ain't tell him that, man. Uh, I mean, he ain't tell him that, man. He just Freddie Roach did not know what to tell him, y'all. Freddie didn't know what to tell him. I mean, seriously, he didn't know. Because Freddie never thought that this guy could win the fight. 
And that's what pissed me off. I'm not mad at the stoppage, okay? I'm not knocking Freddie for stopping him. Y'all don't get me on that. And I'm not I'm not saying that Freddie Roach is not a good trainer. But in this situation, man, nah, man. Freddie Roach, gosh, dude, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. But, you know, Sergey Kovalev won the fight. He won the fight. It was one-sided, man. It was a one-sided beat down. I mean, Sergey Kovalev, again, y'all, he beat the hell out of John Pascal. He whooped his ass. I'm talking about he beat the hell out of Pascal. He beat him on the ropes. He beat him in the center of the ring. He beat him going backwards. He beat him going forward. John Pascal just got beat. And that's just how it is, y'all. I'm calling this thing how I see it. Pascal got beat. But I'm telling you, man, that psychological edge was already with Kovalev. I mean, you got your trainer. Your trainer don't believe you can do it, man. Freddie Roach, before the fight started, never thought that Pascal could do this. You guys tell me what you think. But I, I know now that Max Kellerman, already, hey, this time I'm cool with Max Kellerman. Max Kellerman is asking him about Andre Ward. Max Kellerman is pushing that fight. And you know what? Uh, it's going to take an Andre Ward to match Kovalev skill for skill. Kovalev was too skillful, man. That's just the way that is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. And John David Jackson, we're not done with you. I'm done.